Hello everyone, here's a quick video for the unveiling of the Adialab market prediction competition documentation. Here I'm sharing a couple of notebooks super quickly. Um, of course, we cannot yet share the data themselves, uh, which are described in these notebooks, as the competition didn't start, but I'm sure going through them will provide a lot of value in understanding the problem and starting to think about how to tackle it as soon as the competition officially starts. Um, so uh, the first notebook, uh, and credits for the colleagues in Abu Dhabi for them, um, is about uh, exploratory data analysis and um, the problem is about cross-section forecast problem. Um, this means that we are tracking a, a pool of investment vehicles and the idea is to be able in each uh, cross-section which is defined by, the, by time. Um, we are interested in ranking uh, objects in this cross-section. So the, the, the value uh, of this rank uh, is measured via Spearman's rank correlation. Um, these data are uh, obfuscated and normalized uh, as seen fit. And uh, we can jump on taking a look at these uh, files that you will be able to download soon. Uh, we have a first column uh, identifying the epoch, so the, the time, the cross-section number, let's say. And then for each cross-section, you're going to have a, a, an ash, which is identifying this, uh, this vehicle um, in that cross-section. Um, together with this, in the extra and next test, you're going to have a number of uh, features, factors, in the financial uh, language, let's say, jargon. Um, and uh, you can start taking a look at them, let's say. So, you, you, for example, this first figure shows you how many objects there are in each cross-section. So it's not a, a fixed time, and so it's n one cannot hope to do, at least not directly, time series analysis on, on the behavior of these uh, objects. Um, another thing that's worth to notice is uh, the behavior of the features, of course, uh, and we can look at the ensemble of them, uh, both uh, without taking into account uh, uh, the, the time dimension, let's say, and taking that dimension into account below. Um, but yeah, um, I guess it's interesting to look at them, uh, both uh, the relationship of features, and so we're looking at the correlation uh, matrix here. Um, I believe uh, it's the correlation, yes. And um, also the statistics, like the reference statistics, let's say. Um, so they are, uh, I would say, globally uni model. And um, the other interesting thing is that uh, they don't match the they're not Gaussian, let's say. Uh, so the, here we're talking about uh, features. Uh, I think below there is a check, yeah, about Gaussianity. Uh, this is done with the uh, with fitting uh, the QQ plot uh, to the distribution of quantiles observed. Um, yeah, and I skipped the target, which is probably the most interesting one. There is a target. This target is in uh, the Y file, and uh, its distribution is uniform, and uh, it's plotted here. Okay, uh, that's it. Then uh, in this uh, notebook, uh, it, we go through a bit the autocorrelation, how to analyze uh, from a time series point of view uh, this data and look at the autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation. Uh, we can uh, select features how we see fit. Uh, we can then uh, perform uh, uh, cross-validation, taking into account the, the temporal nature of the problem. And then we can perform uh, supervised learning. Uh, here we, we describe a bit of the easy linear modeling skills you can uh, use so linear regression and then regularizer via lasso and ridge and then combine the two with elastic net um, that's it uh, you would say for this notebook and then with the modeling you can start going in deep into an example of uh, gradient boosting i think here we obtune is combined with uh, led gpm to show some results um, this is it uh, we will also share an, a notebook on a quick start so how to interact with the with the CLI and uh, talk to you soon for the release of the data, I would say.